Okay. Hello, folks. How are you? I'm going to put this uh, little video out here. I am a folky. I'm a songwriter uh, living here in Venice. My name is James Hawkins. Uh, I write songs and I'm going to do some traditional songs and some of mine. And you'll get the idea after I finish this first song. So fast, please don't say which train I'm on, for they won't know where I've gone. Now, when I'm dead and in my grave, no more good times will I crave. Just place those stones at my head and feet and tell them. I've gone to sleep Now freight train, freight train Rolling so fast Freight train, freight train Rolling so fast Please don't say which train I'm on Where they won't know where I've gone street where I hear old number nine as she comes roaring by now freight train freight train rolling so fast freight train freight train rolling so fast please don't say which train I'm on where they won't know Trained by Elizabeth Cotton. And uh, let's see here. See, uh, this next song is a song that I wrote. I'm, I used to, I've been in this town for the better part of 30, about 35 years, I think. I had this job at, uh, at a survey company up in Sarasota. Weber, 
Weber Engineering is where I had the job. And uh, when I, uh, I had, uh, so I was a surveyor, and I worked, I was, I was the guy that stood in the middle of the street with that great big huge uh, uh, rod, you know, standing out in the middle of traffic and nearly getting killed by drivers and stuff. And sometimes we would go out and we would do these um, um, uh, uh, lots of land, like acreages of land to be turned over and made into uh, things like, um, you know, shopping malls or subdivisions or something like that. And uh, one time we were out, I think it was out of State Road 70, I'm not too sure, 64, up in there somewhere way out in the, in the boonies. And um, uh, we were cutting line, which means that you were cutting from one point to the next. And uh, we found this old uh, house that had been there, God knows how long. It's, it had, the, you know, like uh, the, the brick wall, so it, the shell of the house was still there. And so we, we stopped at that point to have lunch. And the other guys were eating and, and listening to the radio, and I... I walked over to the, uh, to the, um, to, to the house and kind of explored a little bit, went to the middle of the, uh, uh, went into the kitchen and it looked out to the, to the window overlooking the sink into the backyard and you could see that there were kids toys, old kids toys stuck there and, and, uh, just junk that they, that they had, uh, discarded as they left and, um. Uh, as I was stood there looking out through that window, I came up with this song. All alone in a meadow not far from here Stands an old wooden frame that I hold so dear For it's there that I learned the lessons of life and to find the truth between the wrong and the right. The floors are dusty, the paint is cracked and dry. There's a hole in the roof that gives a view of the sky. And an old wooden chair sits alone by the hearth. I can still hear the voices that speak to my heart. Sweet memories forever in my mind. Sweet memories takes me back to when the world was soft and kind. Now, Mom, she died when I was nine. It was up to Dad to help me tow the line He held my hand when life got rough And through his faith I was taught to be tough Sweet memories forever in my mind Sweet memories Takes me back to when the world was soft and kind Down by the creek stands an old cypress tree On hot July days, that's where we'd swim Beneath those branches, I fell in love I see the promise of tomorrow in the face of my son Sweet memories forever in my mind. Sweet memories takes me back to when the world was soft and kind. I 
I start the car and I close the door I fear I'll see this place no more and it will live forever in the corners of my mind reminding me of a simpler time sweet memories forever Memories takes me back to when the world was soft and kind. Takes me back to when the world was soft and kind. Takes me back to when the world was soft and kind. Yeah, song about old home and. Uh, Nothing like it. See, when you get to be my age, I'm in my early 60s. Yeah, that's right. I'm older than dirt. And uh, you, um, yeah, old memories, they stick around for quite some time. Um, since I've been stuck at, stuck at home, I have had the, much to my wife's dismay, I have been uh, indulging myself in all the uh, documentaries and <sighs> lectures and stuff like that. I've been watching a documentary about uh, the Dust Bowl, and uh, and uh, then I saw one about Woody Guthrie, and it made me think about some of these songs. <laughs> They said the, the, the center of the Dust Bowl was that panhandle of Oklahoma that, that if you look on a map, you'll see Texas, and then there's uh, Kansas, or I think Nebraska's above that, but, but there's a sliver of, of, of land that goes across, and uh, in that in that land was this basically the center of the Dust Bowl, and um, it's it was pretty pretty amazing how people had a beautiful green uh, farm, very productive farm, and then out of nowhere, bam, they had nothing, you know, and um, it was it was pretty wild, pretty crazy. Beside you, mind the wagon. It was in the town they rode. The deputy sheriff approached him in a rather, rather, in a manner rather rude, using vulgar words of language. Miss Floyd overheard. Now the pretty boy grabbed the log chain. And the deputy grabbed his gun. And in the fight that followed, he laid that deputy down. Trees and timbers 
and live a life of shame. Every crime in Oklahoma was added to his name. So gather round, my children, and a story I will tell. Old free boy Floyd the outlaw. Oklahoma knew him well. I know you right are gonna miss me when I'm gone I know you right are gonna miss me when I'm gone Gonna miss your baby rolling through the ground I wish I was a headline I wish I was a headline on the southbound train. I'm missing my baby rolling through the rain. It's an old, how they used to call, claw hammer banjo. I do it the best I can, but hey, you know, you can only do what you can. In the year of, uh, in the early 1900s, there was a, there was a small woman, who lived in Upper State, New York, lived in Buffalo. She heard the call to help people out, and she didn't really care whether you were white or black or red or brown or blue or green or whatever. She was always there to help you, always there to help anyone in need. Well, she uh, joined the Methodist Church. Became, I guess, a missionary. Uh, went out to uh, went out to the Oklahoma area. Um, helped out helped out with the Indians on the reservations. Uh, made her way up to Alaska, and uh, she would tour and um, tell people about the Alaska school system uh, up where she was up there, and trying to raise money. And uh, one of her tours brought her to Florida. She went down to the Everglades and she she saw the conditions that the uh, Miccosukee and the uh, Seminole were being treated, and it was it was pretty bad, yeah. So when it come time for the when the uh, uh, depression hit, twenty nine when the stock market crashed, by nineteen thirty nineteen thirty one. The Methodist Church, along with other churches, basically had to cut back because they couldn't afford missionaries. So uh, since she had raised enough money to help out the the school system, she asked if she could be reassigned down to the Everglades. She showed up down here in the Everglades, and she did what she could to help. When she first showed up, at, she was in her mid-50s, and... Um, uh, she didn't have a driver's license. She went out and bought a, a Model T Ford for like, a, I think, 
hundred dollars or something, something, something very ridiculous. And she taught herself how to drive, and started to drive this this Model T Ford back into the Everglades to help out the Indians. And at first, they weren't too they weren't too thrilled about having this this woman come back there, let alone a small white woman. That was going to be annoying, because there had always been that tension between the Semin the Native um, Seminole and the Miccosukee and the uh, white men. But she proved to them that she she was there to help, and she did. She helped out. And um, they called her uh, Inksapi, Inksapi, which meant a uh, woman who prays, which is kind of interesting because when she first started to help them out, she, uh, of course, she wore her, uh, her habit, her nun's habit, but she, um, she didn't push religion on them. She didn't say, all right, everybody, let's bow down. She helped them, and it was was it was I think it was uh, about a year or two in, to where she finally had her first service. I guess she just did not want to uh, interrupt what was happening there. And when she was taken out of the Everglades and basically put into a rest home, I guess they had someone a reporter asked her uh, if she could sum up her life. And she she thought for a minute, and she said, uh, there's no retirement in the service of the master. And when I read that line, I thought, wow, that was amazing. These days, nowadays, there's a lot of, there's a lot of unrest, I guess you could say, you know. And there's a lot of people who are uh, very upset and they're arguing with each other and stuff. But there are those people who are out there who are really and will, ready and willing to help. And this woman was such an example to give everything she had to people she did not know. Harriet, she came down from Alaska distant land filled with ice and snow in the Everglades she found what she was looking for and the people who would touch her very soul in the camps she was as welcome as the morning she came to help all who were in need and never did she push religion on them. Witness is best done through faith and deed. There's no retirement in the service of the master. There's no end to the things that he can do. If you live your life in the service of another, Each morning the blessings start anew. Disheartened how the cement overtreated on display like a window to the past. Denied the opportunities of others. She fought to break the die that was cast. She stood up for the rights of the tribe And the art in which they made by hand In turn, they opened up their hearts That beat within that sea of grass Reopened that Glades Cross mission, providing a little income for the tribe. It was there where they could preserve their own ways 
and fill their lives with dignity and pride. There's no retirement in the service of the master. There's no end to the things that he can do. If you live your life in the service of another, in the morning the blessings start anew. By and by, by and by, we'll stand with the Savior by and by, for He'll turn night into day as the saints will sing and play. There upon that day by and by By and by, by and by We'll stand with the Savior by and by For He'll turn night into day As the saints will sing and play There upon that day by and by there upon that day by and by Harriet Bedell Deaconess of the Everglades If you look her up you'll find out The pictures are don't really do her any justice but She's a short like I say she was a short little white woman Surrounded by all those people, and they they uh, opened up their hearts to the woman. And uh, while I was reading the, uh, while I was looking at that documentary about uh, Woody Guthrie. Woody Guthrie uh, spent some time on the West Coast. Had a radio show for a while. And uh, eventually made his way to New York City. He wrote, uh, of course, he wrote This Land is Your Land. And uh, uh, he said he was very happy with that song because it bought him a brand new guitar. <laughs> and, uh, but he was, he was, he went everywhere. Uh, he also came down here to Florida to a place called Beluthahatchee, Hatchie up near the Jacksonville area, and instead uh, 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 spent some time with Stetson Kennedy, uh, who uh, basically single-handedly uh, defeated the Klan here in the state of Florida. But when he was in New York, uh, it was about the time of Greenwich Village, you know, and uh, you know what was kind of funny was. Uh, I was watching uh, some of the coverage of the protests in New York City, and uh, I, they, the protesters were uh, sitting around this huge um, fountain, and I, I was looking at that, and I noticed that it was the same fountain that in the late 50s, early 60s, all the uh, young folk singers, beatniks, uh, bluegrass pickers, folk singers, they would all gather around this very same fountain and talk, I guess, revolution or whatever. Uh, and uh, it was kind of funny how the circle came. It was all full circle now. It was coming around. Because they were, those people were standing there fighting about, uh, talking about George Floyd and uh, Black Lives Matter. So I thought that was kind of kind of interesting that they had everything had come full circle on that deal you see I'm change my get my my implement of destruction here and uh, so it made me think about some of the uh, old folk singers that came through there and so I'm gonna sing an old folk song from that era and uh, This is uh, an old Tom Paxton tune. It's kind of funny. People always ask, ask things um, on uh, 
on Facebook, they would ask questions on what would, if you were on an island, what would you take? What would be the only album you would take? Well, if you're on an island with an album, you would need electricity and a record player. So, uh, I don't think I'd want an album. I'd want some, some, something for to start a fire, you know, or something like that. It's a lesson too late for the learning Made of sand, made of sand In the wind coming, I, my soul is turning In your hand, in your hand Are you going away with no word of farewell? Would there be not a trace left behind? I could have loved you better I didn't mean to be unkind That was the last thing on my mind You've got plenty of reasons A plenty for going This I know This I know for the weeds have been steadily growing Please don't go Please don't go Are you going away With no word of farewell Would there be not a trace left behind well, I could have loved you better I didn't mean to be unkind that was the last thing on my mind As I lie in my bed Without you, without you Every song in my breast dies a morning Without you, without you Are you going away with no word of farewell? Would there be not a trace left behind? Well, I could have loved you better I didn't mean to be unkind That was the last thing on my mind That was the last thing on my mind down to my last couple of songs my camera's adjusting to me moving around so much I got a song I wrote a long time ago it's been recorded by some folks across the state I've been very fortunate to have had that done and um, 
it's uh, Bob Patterson used to play it at the uh, White Lion in St. Augustine. And there were uh, other people who played it for memorials and sometimes weddings, I guess. When I was younger, people said to me, but this journey we call life Hold on tight to the friends that you make You don't know what life will throw your way Now Jesus is coming to take his children home All those hopeless sinners no more will roam Well if he's coming I hope it's right away I'm being swept away Swept away Swept away Like driftwood on a current I'm swept away Someone throw me a lifeline Pull me to the shore For I'm being swept away Time is a thief, it steals from us all. We must do our best just to keep moving on. For if we work together, the cause of love won't fail. And we will not be swept away. Swept away, swept away. Like driftwood on a current, I'm swept away. Someone throw me a lifeline, pull me to the shore. For I'm being swept away. Right at this present time while I'm singing this song, or possibly while you're watching this video, there's someone out in the streets right now who's protesting or speaking up for something that they saw was wrong. I do what I can. I try to sing songs and write songs that have something to say. We all must do our part because this is a time that is like no other. And if we work together, we can make a difference. We can change things for the good. So this last verse is for all those folks who are out there making it happen. For all those healthcare workers who are taking care of the COVID-19 folks. All the EMTs and the police who are trying to do their job. This last song is for them. This last verse.
world that spins through this universe all alone and unafraid we must hold close the ones that we hold dear lest they be swept away swept away swept away like driftwood on a current I'm swept away Someone throw me a lifeline, pull me to the shore, for I'm being swept away, for I'm being swept away. this last tune I uh, one particular summer uh, my mother never forget this she um, I was having trouble reading and she spent that summer reading to me books she read me uh, Tom Sawyer uh, Huckleberry, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn Horatio Hornblower, Treasure Island, and this, I'm going to sing you this song, and it's for her, and it's a good, and it's a farewell song, so I thank you, my name is James Hawkins, I also do a radio show every other Wednesday at WSLR called Acoustic Waves, and it's from 7 to 9 in the evening. Uh, you can find more information about it at wslr.org. I would love to have you call. I'll be in the studio Wednesday after next. And uh, my name is James Hawkins. Oh, I thought I heard the old man say, Leave her, Johnny, leave her, For tomorrow you will get your pay, And it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. Oh, the wind was foul and the sea ran high. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. She shipped it green and none went by. For it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. The mate was bad, but the captain was worse. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. He'd strike you down with a spike and a curse when it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her, for the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. There was rotten bread and rotten meat and moldy bread. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. If you didn't eat, you'd wind up dead, for it's time for us to leave her. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her, for the voyage is done and the winds don't blow and it's time for us to leave her. Now the time has come to say goodbye. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. We worked real hard and we pumped her dry and it's time for us to leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. Oh, leave her, Johnny, leave her. For the voyage is done, and the winds don't blow, and it's time for us to leave her. Thank you for listening.